Hey people, this is Steve from Hashdot Guide, and today we're going to talk about the Grid Seed 40 chip G Blade miners, the ASIC miners, and if they're still profitable going into 2018. Um, I'm pretty sure they don't sell these things brand new anymore, but you see them all over eBay. Uh, there's a reason why you see them on eBay, is people trying to get rid of them. I just sold off the last of mine. Um, they're not very profitable. Actually, they're not profitable at all. Uh, you lose money on them. It's a good way to learn how to use ASIC miners. Um, it's not, you know, it's not just as easy as plugging in a, a graphics card, installing drivers, and going. You need to use a, a special program to install drivers, and there's a a method of, of starting the miner itself. But um, I have this video right here coming up okay so all right so today we're going to talk about the grid seed 40 chip G blade miners and if they're still profitable going into 2018 right now I got mine set up on the table um, I just sold off my last unit but I run mine off regular ATX power supplies uh, the spare ones, so I I cut the, the ends of the wires off, and I went in terminal box like that. I buy these terminals right here at Amazon.com. You can terminate the wires directly to the barrel connector, so it makes it useful. Um, if you want to use ATX power supplies without a motherboard, you need to jump the green wire. That's the signal wire to turn the power supply on. You jump the green wire to a black wire on the connector. Any black wire will work. So, I leave the USB wire unplugged for the computer until we're ready to install the drivers or start the software. To start the mining software, you need to have the wire unplugged or the power supply off or whatever. And then you need to start the miner and then plug it in. It works off hub plug. Okay, so we're gonna switch over to the computer now and get going on the drivers and software. This is basically what the file looks like. Uh, uh, Windows.bat file is a you know text file that you save in quotes as .bat. This is a batch file. It runs commands in the command prompt. So you have this in the same folder as your miner software, which in this case is cgminer.exe. And to run it on a script, which ASCC miners, uh, grid seed is script only. Do not try running script in SHA-256 with this miner because it will, it will damage it. And uh, you know the stratum URL, and then worker uh, user dot worker, and then X is the password. Password doesn't really matter. Some pools have the password as a veridiff um, option. Uh, I'll be making a video of the various pools and, and the various ways pools use authentication. But uh, for grid seed miner. You need dash dash grid C dash options equals baud equals one one five two zero zero. Now this is the the serial baud rate and the frequency and how many chips you units have. Um, regardless of how many ASCC miners you have, this chips equals forty. It stays the same as long as you're using the forty chip G blade. If you're using the five chip orbs, this needs to be five. Hot plug is just how long you have until you plug the USB wire in while connecting your miners. And change your work, your user worker, whatever pool you have. Um, some use your actual address while doing it. And just hit save. And then all you do is you just open the file like any other file and it'll run CG miner. If the command prompt automatically closes on you, 
that means there's an error in the, the stratum URL or in the um, the script uh, call or whatever you're missing you're missing some type of command in there so double check so you can get the miners here to install the drivers for Windows you need a program called Zadig it's USB driver installation you just search it on Google and this is the, the program right here and here's what it looks like so what you need to do for this is you need to have your miners plugged in while you use this so plug your miners in and then go to options list all devices and then you click on the drop down box and then you go to STM32 virtual COM port click on that and the driver that you want is win USB so if it says anything else in, in this box click reinstall driver and now you're ready to start mining so let me see if I get my miner in here. So like I said, I I've been mining pink coin just because it's a it's a, a low volume coin that I hope to you know will pick up one day. Uh, a couple thousand of them from the last couple months, which is not much at all. But uh, you know. I had to do that. I wasn't gonna have the miners sit on my shelf not doing anything. So what you need to do is after you install the drivers, unplug your USB wire again for your USB hub. And then what you do is click on your batch file and then you plug in the miner. And everything should be good. And starting to get accepted shares already. Now, if you're mining Litecoin or BitConnect or anything like that, you're not going to be uh, submitting this many shares. Uh, I'm mining Pinkcoin right now on IcaPool.com, and the difficulty is very, very low for this coin. Not many people are mining it, so uh, the grid scene miners they get you know quite a few rejected shares from submitting you know too, too fast or whatever but yeah that that's the breakdown on the grid seed uh, and 2018 coming up in less than a month uh, these units are really not worth buying unless you're buying a whole bunch of them and you're mining uh, a new script coin other than that I, I would not buy this expecting to mine Litecoin because uh, you'll have uh, one miner on for six months and still have less than 0.1 Litecoin. <laughs> uh, there's no point in buying these for Litecoin. Buying for a cheap, you know, a, a, non, a non name, a, a non known coin, and try to build up your coins that way. Um, other than that, these are just noisy heaters. They don't blow off much heat either. Um, Alright, well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out my blog, Hashtag Guide. Follow me on Twitter. And join my Facebook group. Uh, all the links are in the description. The link for the miner will be in the description. And also check out my other links for exchanges and buying by Bitcoin. Uh, Cointracking.com. Uh, you, you can track all your coins uh, through all your exchanges know how many you ha how many assets you have throughout all your exchanges um, just check out the links please use my affiliate links to sign up and hope you guys have a good day don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you